Welcome back to my channel. I'm Keish. And if you ain't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. But how y'all doing today? <clears throat> I want to start this new thing, you know, on my channel. I want to call it True Crimes, right? Now, when it comes to True Crimes, I'm going to get into real life stories. It's going to be um life death it's gonna she gonna get real crazy on here so i just want to prepare everybody if you don't if you ain't into shit like that that's on you but i i think i got followers that might be into some shit like this so let me go on, check it out let us go and check it out see what it's talking about this one right here is about a uh husband and wife i see what the fuck happened with them I can't see her doing something like that. She's super intelligent. I can't. <laughs> this is the moment Zach realized his wife, Ashley, was a secret murderer. Police mm -hmm. found Taylor Wright, a friend of his wife, lying dead on his property. Police suspect Ashley was the murderer, but Zach refuses to believe it. Little did he know, he was about to get the shock of his life in the interrogation room. Can you tell me how... You came to know Taylor? Um, through working uh, PI cases. Okay. She'd come over to our house every now and then. She met my wife. They became friends. Did you guys ever have a falling out? or? Never. From from doing this job for so long, I just, like, I would just pick her up, pick up little lies from her. Just stuff just didn't start seeming right. She would disappear for days and you couldn't get her on the phone. Greg and I would try to call her. You couldn't get her on the phone. Taylor had been known to go missing for days at a time, but this time was different. Mm -hmm. She hadn't been seen for over a month before she was found. Early on, cops believed her disappearance was nothing out of the ordinary, but she'd left everything at home, and what little texts she sent to her friends were in language she wouldn't normally use. Mm. I'm sure now you've read the news. You kind of know the day you were talking about. Have you had a chance to go back and pinpoint where you were on, on the, the 8th of September? Um, it's very, well, I can't remember, but I'm trying to do the very best I can so I can tell y'all the best I can. I went to the bank yesterday to pull my statement. I know I ate lunch at the seafood place at Nine Mile in the Pine Forest and I ate there. And I remember eating by myself. And I remember Ash not being on the because she was tied up with work. Taylor was last seen on the 8th of September. So Zach attempts to recount what he was doing that day. Okay. Given that he used his debit card to purchase food in the area, it's likely that his story is true. Okay, What's interesting, okay. though, is that he mentioned he was out on his own as his wife was busy with work. It seems that he fully believes this to be the truth. And while he knows his wife has been questioned about the murder, he doesn't know that she's currently the number one suspect. The cops are trying to learn more about the case. They're trying to determine if Zach had a hand in the murder, or at the Damn. very least, turn him against his own wife. Do you know anything about this against her. If they think she's the one, Taylor had given you all. No, absolutely not. She's never given me anything. I've never got anything from that. No. Okay. Do you, do you know anything about your finances? No, to be honest. I give her, when like, when I work a case or, like, in a, I got a uh, uh, settlement for my attorney, I hand it straight to Ash. She takes care of everything. The money that the detective is referring to do they? is a sum of $34,000 that Taylor had given to Ashley for safekeeping. Taylor was going through a divorce and wanted the money away from her own accounts. But instead of putting it in a safety deposit box, as promised, Records show Ashley put it into her own accounts. By the time Taylor wanted mm. it back, she'd already spent all of it. Coincidentally, Taylor only asked for it back on the 8th of September. If it's not already obvious by Damn, now, Zach you is a up that very caring morning? person who obviously trusted his wife a lot. So far, he's provided solid answers to and where he, he just was. Don't know shit, but he don't even look at the bank statement. This bitch sitting on hella racks. Equating to almost none. But the detectives have to rule out any involvement whatsoever. <clears throat> so they decide to discuss where the body was found. The property up on Britt Road. And that's owned by her and uncle. Mm -hmm. Have you ever 
Have you ever been out there? Yeah. When's the last time you think you were out there? The body was on her aunt and uncle land. Side by side. And that's the last time I think before that it was, I couldn't tell you. Why the fuck would you take the body there? Where was that? A couple months back. Your phone number, the 554 number, do you always keep that on you? Yeah, I reckon. Do you ever loan it out to anybody? No. Okay. No. Would you no. ever loan it to anybody? or No. Do you remember Ashley ever using it, taking it with her? No. Never. Okay, mm. did it ever get lost or stolen or anything that you ever placed? No, not really. Okay. Mm. This might seem like Just a random reason. question, but phone records actually played a huge part in uncovering the truth in this case. Not only did they show Ashley on the property Taylor was found dead at on the 8th, but they also showed Taylor's phone at a wedding Ashley attended the very next day. But Taylor was never seen at the wedding or anywhere else after that date. Detectives here are just trying to so confirm she took that the if phone suspicious activity her. was discovered from Zach's phone records, there would be no way to argue that it wasn't him in control of the phone. But remember, Zach still Man, has crazy. very little idea surrounding the true nature of this case. He doesn't know how much she evidence the cops have against his wife. Shit. All he's doing is defending himself and providing answers that'll hopefully solve the case. So given his compliance so far, the detectives decide to try and question him about some more physical evidence. Um... Do you own any 9mm yeah. handguns? What kinds of Glock? <laughs> Just one or, or? Um, yeah, I, yeah, well, when I, I've got a lot of guns. So yeah. A lot. Um, Damn, one, Jay. I think one Glock 9. Uh, what model? 19. 19, okay. Do you know how Taylor died? Yeah, for Ackerman told me that the, the girl was shot and he got it. He heard that from Old Chan. So Ackerman told you when he got it from all ten? Yeah. Okay. And did he elaborate on anything else? He just said that they thought the girl was shot. Okay. They ain't tell him shot the window. Or anything of that nature. Man, over the years. Um, mm, uh, yeah. mm. um I bought her a three eighty one time. What kind? PBK. Oh. And does she carry a firearm? I haven't seen her one in, in, in quite a while. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she killed the girl. She don't want to be carried. She's only 38. Okay. Airway? Yes. And I, I mean, she used to, that's the, the last thing I ever remember seeing her with was a 38 airway. And that was, I, don't, I haven't seen her with that in I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my to, did, did you kill or participate in that? I don't know. I would have this question. Okay. Okay. Did you kill or participate, or do you have any knowledge? Zero, Jason. Absolutely none. I don't want to be nowhere near it, no, nothing involved with it, nothing. I know nothing about it. The detectives are now trying to ramp up the pressure slightly. Mm -hmm. Zach has seemed extremely comfortable up to this point, and they're likely yeah. just trying to test whether that's because of the more casual the nature of the interview ago. so far. Yeah. Or if it's because he genuinely is innocent. However, Zach stays calm, and his body language confirms this. As the pressure mounts, Zach doesn't lean back, cross his arms, or really become closed off in any way. Man, he really open. Person, man. Instead, he leans forward, maintains eye contact, and his statements are clear and concise. His posture here is one of confidence and cooperation. His feet are flat on the ground, and he's leaning towards the detectives, proving that he feels safe around them, and that he's got nothing to hide. Mm. In fact, this is just one of two different positions Zach has assumed throughout the interrogation. The other being a more casual, upright position with his hands and legs open. Zach is doing everything he can to appear innocent, and yet the pressure continues to mount. What do you think happened to Taylor? She is somebody shot her. I couldn't tell you, Jason. That's all I, I could tell you. What they told me. I am. I don't know. Somebody shot her. I don't know. But he he don't even know he did. I mean nobody nobody deserved to ever get anything happen to him like that whatsoever. I don't know that. I don't know what happened to him. And I you know I'm asking you, uh, do you as this investigation continues, whether it's text, phone records, computers. Mm. Financials. Is there going to be anything 
that heals you up or ties you up. Absolutely okay. nothing. Well, not just being involved in the actual murder, but in the as far as, you know, setting it up and afterwards. Help it. Okay. Help it. Still. Mm -hmm. if, if any person in this world was like, hey, Zach, come help me do something, I would run from that mother as fast as I could. <laughs> Zach ain't trying to kill nobody. All over the news. You've read it. Yeah, I've read right? it. I've read it. And I'm, 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 and, I'm, and I mean, I'm trying to swallow it and, and, and figure it out. I mean, it's like, it, it's terrible. But I wonder why would the wife do that? You've read it, so you know at least some of the details. Just based upon that and your knowledge of the job that we do and the job that you used to do, what's your thought? Mm. Feelings aside. Mm. Just logically. I can't. I can't. I can't see her doing something like that. I mean, she's super intelligent. What you know? you got she's got a criminal. I mean, a uh, um, master's degree. Yeah, or a bat. Is it master's or bat? I don't, I don't know. One of the two. And, and uh, that's just sloppy. I mean, that's sloppy sh I can't see her doing that. The violence. There's obviously a lot going on in Zach's head right now. He obviously he doesn't want to believe to his wife killed someone, but his years of experience as a PI, coupled with all the evidence against his wife, logically have to be convincing him otherwise. She Not took only the lady were there the bank statements and the cell phone records, but as she was even caught on camera at a hardware store, purchasing the exact same type of cement that was used to fill Taylor's grave. At this point, though, the detectives have seen all they need to. Zach takes a minute to discuss a few things with his lawyer, and he signs a search warrant allowing them to obtain all his cell phone records. Eventually, Zach is cleared of any wrongdoing oh, and is allowed to return home. On that lady. His wife, however, was a different story. That's the wife. The jury find the defendant, Ashley MacArthur, guilty of first degree premeditated murder with a firearm as charged in the indictment. Mm. Ashley MacArthur was sentenced to life in prison with a mandatory sentence of 25 years and is now serving her time away from her husband behind bars. Stop it right there. That was not worth it. That was not worth going to jail for. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. People be giving their lives up for shit that's not fucking worth it. And that was the dumbest criminal shit ever. Because, bitch, why the fuck would you take the hoe to the auntie and uncle spot? Why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? Why would you take the phone, her phone, the next day to a wedding? Like, cell towers don't exist or something. I think nothing to ping that shit. That's crazy. The husband was so naive until they just had to be real with him. Stop being naive and, and be 100 about the situation. Look at look at how the shit played out. Look at how everything is. And your wife did that shit. Bro. That shit crazy. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments, all right? Y'all like, yeah, bro, I, I love y'all, bro. For real, for real. Y'all, y'all, y'all fuck with me. And I fuck with y'all. Why? Y'all know the rest. We a family. Alright, I'll see y'all in the next video, alright? Peace.